Singing in a band isn't always easy. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 controversial band member replacements in rock. For this list, we're including cases where a band replaced a deceased member, but only if it really was a questionable decision or led to a lot of contentious debating among fans. Number 10. Doug Ewell for Lou Reed, The Velvet Underground. Jackal goes to the top of the hill Doing the things that jackals will as the Velvet Underground's co-founder, Lou Reed was the band's main singer-songwriter and guitarist for almost a decade before he called it quits. Ever since I was on Monday, got my eyeballs on my knee. And though Doug Ewell had already been recruited as John Cale's replacement by this point, fans were caught unaware when he became frontman. I'm waiting for my man. To top things off, the new version of the band, which included Deep Purple's Ian Pace and several session players, resulted in the less than stellar Squeeze, which was essentially a Yule solo project. Now I'm grown, I'm on my own, running free and wild, not inclined to be entwined with a missus and a child. Number 9. Vivian Campbell for Steve Clark, Def Leppard. Def Leppard decided to replace Pete Willis with Phil Collin in the early 1980s because of the guitarist's drinking. However, co-lead guitarist Steve Clark was also plagued with drinking problems. So, following his 1991 death, Vivian Campbell was brought in. Launching their first U.S. tour in four years, and their first with new guitarist Vivian Campbell, who's replaced the late Steve Clark. But this led to a change in musical direction that caused fans to discount Campbell's talent. And they continued to hold on to the memory of Clark's greatness. Number eight, Ian Asprey for Jim Morrison, the Doors. The death of a band member is always tough. For ACDC, Brian Johnson was chosen to fill Bon Scott's shoes. Following Jim Morrison's death, the Doors used surviving members on vocals, but eventually disbanded in 1973. Almost three decades later, Ray Manzarek and Robbie Krieger formed the doors of the 21st century with the cult's Ian Asprey. You know that that would be untrue. You know that I would be a Not only did this cause an uproar among fans, it also led to legal battles with the doors' John Densmore and Morrison's family due to the use of the band's name. Call me like my mother. Call me like my Number 7. Blaze Bailey for Bruce Dickinson, Iron Maiden. In the early 80s, Iron Maiden replaced coke addicted Paul Diano with Bruce Dickinson, which wasn't welcomed by early fans and diehard purists. Over time, however, most came to love, appreciate, and respect Dickinson. So, by the time he quit to go solo, Blaze Bailey didn't stand a chance. His two albums were the two lowest charting of the band's career. Dickinson eventually returned. Number 6. Tim Ripper Owens for Rob Halford, Judas Priest. Tim Ripper Owens went from being in a Judas Priest tribute band to being Judas Priest's frontman. After Rob Halford left, the band discovered Owens through a taped performance of his time in British Steel. We would open up as ourselves, 
play an hour, and then do two hours of Judas Priest. And I thought, well, you know, sounds pretty good to me. But because fans couldn't forget Halford, the replacement stirred up much public outcry and mixed to poor reviews. When I saw it, I thought, well, wow, that's me. <laughs> this is a, a true Rob Halford clone. After years of pushing for a reunion, it finally came to fruition in 2003. Number five, Arnel Pineda for Steve Perry, Journey. He wasn't Journey's first singer, but Steve Perry is still linked to the band's most commercially successful periods. He's since had a string of replacements, starting with Steve O'Jerry, Talisman's Jeff Scott Soto, and most recently, Arnel Pineda. Despite Pineda's obvious talent, there are those who don't think he's on par with Perry. While others have made racist remarks regarding his Filipino culture. Number four, multiple Metallica. After Metallica kicked out guitarist Dave Mustaine for his drug abuse. When we would get drunk, they would get silly and I would get really violent. And violent people and silly people don't mix when they're inebriated. They replaced him with Kirk Hammett. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It, it was the most original, heaviest, fastest thing I had ever seen in my life. Which brought on the Megadeth versus Metallica debate. Just like the Next, Flotsam Jetsam's Jason Newstead was hired to replace the late Cliff Burton on bass. But many fans felt Newstead couldn't fill Burton's shoes. When Newstead left, Robert Trujillo was hired. With so many lineup changes, it's not surprising Metallica still triggers debate and discussion. Number three, Ronnie James Dio for Ozzy Osbourne, Black Sabbath. Ozzy Osbourne wasn't the only Black Sabbath member to have indulged in drugs and alcohol. However, his substance abuse soon put him in a league of his own. This, combined with creative differences with Tony Iommi, led to Osborne's replacement with Rainbow's Ronnie James Dio. Though Dio's vocal prowess and musical contributions are undeniable, fans still have trouble agreeing who was the better Sabbath frontman. Number two, everybody but Axl Rose for somebody else, Guns N' Roses. Along with Axl Rose, Slash, Izzy Stradlin, Duff McKagan, and Steven Adler are considered the classic Guns N' Roses lineup. However, artistic differences and Rose's inability to get along with pretty much everyone. Granted, the negative stuff uh, existed and, and might still exist or whatever. Soon led to all members leaving or being fired. Unless the band gets its act together, at least by his lights, there will be no more Guns N' Roses tours, websites, videos, merchandise, or even a fan club. Since Axel had the rights to the band's name, he continued making music under Guns N' Roses. But the fact that he's the only remaining original member still gets under the skin of most hardcore fans today. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions.
one, Sammy Hagar for David Lee Roth, Van Halen. Thanks to an unstable lineup of lead singers, Van Halen stirred up a hell of a lot of controversy. They rose to fame with David Lee Roth. But he couldn't get along with Eddie Van Halen. And though a change of style was accompanied by a change of frontman with Sammy Hagar, the band briefly reunited with Roth. Their problems continued following a commercially disappointing stint with Extreme's Gary Sharon. Separate reunions with Hagar and Roth, which succeeded to varying degrees. Do you agree with our list? What do you think is the most contentious band replacement? For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.